Hello and welcome to another video. Today I'm checking out Bodhi Linux which is built on top of Ubuntu. It's a small distribution, only about 700 megabytes to download and it uses the Moksha Moshka environment. I'm not very used to it but so to start with we don't come with a lot of pre-installed applications hence the small file size so you're going to want to populate it with your programs so no office out of the box or anything like that um, right so it's a right you can't right click it's a Okay, let's just change that. Um, let's go into the settings panel. Input mouse bindings. Okay. So we want that to show the main menu and then for that to show the favorites menu all right let's see if that's perfect now it's a right click on a desktop it's just more of what i'm used to so here is just the same as your launcher down here when you right click it just opens up your main sort of launcher interface here all right let's have a look at stuff so what i'm going to do is open up a terminal No. Okay, I didn't have a shortcut. Alt, Control, Alt, and T. Terminology. Okay. Just going to install HTOP just to have a look at what it's using. Shouldn't take too long. Okay, so if we open up a HTOP, so it's very light, we're only using 175 meg out of 2 gig. This is on a virtual machine. CPU utilization is pretty low as well. Okay, I'll keep that open. I think this theme's quite arky. It looks good. Um, so if we go into the settings here themes so moshka arc dark yeah so it's like a spin on the arc theme and look at the wallpapers use theme that's a bit better okay so let's have a look at their app store app center right it's just a, a web page it doesn't seem to be very populated, so um, right, it needs a bit of work. This one, um, well, let's get let's get some Office applications on it first. That's their featured, but we want <laughs> it's got Open Office on here still. We want Libre. Okay. It's asking for your password. Right, this is a very, very basic app store. Seems to be just like a web interface here. Right, let's do an app. We'll have a look at what else. So your networking's down here. This is your sound control, virtual desktops. I don't like the um, shadowing behind the clock. Um, what else? Gadgets, shelves. So let's pop it up the top. Mm, have it out there as well. Okay, sorry, slow. 
No, oh, what happened there? So we've now over double the usage of RAM memory. Hmm. Alright, since so getting them going, let's say it's just taken a while to finish the uh, the installation there. Oh, another little frame thing. So this is package management's a bit clunky at best. I think you should probably stick to your Installing things with the term right. That's done. Close that window. Let's just close that. Let's open up a writer. Okay, so that's all fine. Oh, so double clicking on that does that. Okay, that all works fine. Um, so let's install a different browser. Install Firefox. Um, password. Okay, just going to press Y. We'll let that do that. Ah, so you can also get to the settings up from up here. Ah, that's just the clock settings. Is there any way to change the way it looks just from here? Look. I don't know what that's done. Okay, so that's installed much quicker than their app store. I wonder if you can install the whisker menu on here. I'm not too keen on this. So if you were to download this, you're going to want to install quite a few programs because, as I said, it's quite bare bones. But it's for the it's for someone with, uh, I don't know, an older computer maybe that wants something just quick and easy to install. The installation process was easy being an Ubuntu-based distribution. Let's have a look at this, the about. It's about don't want to open up anything. <laughs> there we go. 4.10 Bodhi Linux the Enlightened Linux Desktop. Is that the about? Is that it? Okay. Let's have a look at about Moksha Moksha, Moksha Desktop. Okay, I'm not quite sure what all this, um, no, okay. <laughs> so what, what does help do if we open up a... Well... For what it is, it's not bad. I wouldn't, I wouldn't use it as a daily driver, but for an old laptop or something, it could come in handy. As I said, it's a 700 megabyte ISO, straightforward installation. 
comes with very bare essentials, not including an office suite. The store needs a lot of work, but not bad. I've been Tyler, thanks for watching.